Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to show you how to change your infill percentage or pattern uh, midway through your print or really wherever you want to. I've got an example here that I'm going to zoom in on, kind of show you a little bit more what I'm talking about, and then we'll jump over to Cure and then I'll show you how to do it. But really what you're going to end up doing is creating blocks inside of the object that you're about to slice and then those blocks you can change the infill patterns or percentages uh, based on what you're trying to do. So if you have specific areas that you need to increase the overall infill on whether so if you need to like bump something up to 100% if it's going to be for structural purposes or if you want to reduce most of the body but you still need some of the key areas to have uh, like 30 or 40% infill whatever the case may be you have flexibility to do all of that so before we get started make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and if you have any questions about the process or like to see any other videos go ahead and leave a comment below thanks all right, so here's the example I was talking about. I just took a basic cube. I took the walls off just so that we can see inside uh, to kind of show you what it looks like without actually having to cut it in half. But I've got a 10% infill for most of the pattern. So that's what I actually had the base of the print set to was 10%. And then I did a selection over here that I did at 50%. And then one over here that I did at 80%. Really, you can move these blocks anywhere throughout the pattern, change things around. You can even change the infill type um, as well. So you got a lot of options. Um, I know a lot of you guys have asked me about ways to do this. So it's been a video I've been wanting to get around to for a while. Um, and I finally was able to get to it. Uh, one thing I did want to point out before we jump over to the computer is in this example where I have a really high uh, percentage infill here and not so good over here just normal 10% I did a test print first here and I had some adhesion issues uh, so it kind of buckled here uh, when it was putting a lot of pressure over here uh, so just kind of think about that type of thing when you are making these changes it's easier if you do entire sections at a time uh, but you can go ahead and do small blocks throughout it as well all right so let's go ahead and jump over to the computer all right, guys, so I'm going to use Baby Yoda here as an example. Uh, let's say I wanted to make the base 100% and the ears uh, 50% and the rest of the body at 10%. Um, this might not be something you would do for this type of model. I just wanted to give you a couple examples here of some things you might do. Changing the infill on parts that have overhangs or will act as supports uh, could be important. Uh, so that's why I just want to give you a couple examples here. So right now I've got the base infill set at 10 percent uh, now what i'm going to do is click on the object and then we want to go down and click on support blocker and then from here we just want to click on the object to create this block and then we kind of want to move the block off to the side a little bit it's easier to work with so now i'm going to lower this block and kind of make it so it's the same size as the base it's not an exact science at this point. It, you're just really going to drag it to make sure that it works. Uh, one thing you do want to do is uncheck uniform scaling. Uh, if you don't, it's going to try to keep all the sides the same size, which isn't going to work in this model. Now I'm going to go ahead and lower it so that it's even. And then we need to go ahead and uh, make the actual height a little bit lower. So I'm going to have to adjust it again. It's somewhat difficult sometimes to get it to the exact size that you're working with. So you might have to make some exceptions or just estimate. Uh, but here, that's about what I'm looking for. It covers most of the base. All right, now we want to select that block again and go to per model setting here and then go to modify settings for overlap and then we want to select setting and then just search for infill and then just add that in and we can change that to 100% or we'll just do uh, never mind we'll do 100% like I was saying uh, now if we slice that you'll be able to see that it's 100% on the bottom and 10% uh, for the rest All right, so that slice finished. Let's go over to preview. And, oh, I don't have the walls on, but 
that actually makes the example easier. Um, but if we go all the way to the bottom, you can see here that the base is 100%. And then as soon as we get above the base, we are now at 10%. All right, so now let's go back over to prepare. We can create two more blocks here. And put one more right there. And then we can kind of scale that to cover the ears. In this scenario, you're probably going to get a little bit of the head too. Um, but the more you play with it, the easier it becomes. All right, that covers that part. Now I'm going to kind of do the same thing for the other one. You could clone the first one if it's going to be pretty much the same, uh, but I tend to uh, just modify them individually just in case I do have to make any adjustments. And again, I'm not trying to get this per perfect here because I'm using it as an example. Uh, but if you are, um, it, once you have it where you want it, I think cloning would probably be a little bit easier. All right, so here we go. Most of the ears under the support. So now you have to change the settings for both of these. So you just click on the block, go to your modify settings for overlap, add your infill. And then I think I said we would put these at 50% just as an example. And then do the same thing over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and slice it again. All right, then if we go over to preview, you'll see here that the ears where we had that selected are at 50% infill. And then going down to the bottom, it's at 100%. So really, it gives you the ability to add in additional uh, supports where needed instead of trying to change the entire thing. I mean, yeah, we could have done this entire print at 50%, but then you'll be wasting a lot of filament versus really just reinforcing the areas that need the additional strength. Again, the Baby Yoda might not have been the best example, uh, but I went with that to kind of show you a couple different options. Uh, kind of like the block we went over at the beginning of the video where it was just a 20 by 20 block that I increased the size and then just made a couple different blocks inside of it just to change the infill to use as an example. Uh, you can pretty much change the infill wherever you want, uh, midway through or whatever the case may be. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of flexibility there. But if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below or go ahead and join us on Discord. Thanks. All right, guys. So that's how you change your infill type or density in Cura so that when it prints, you'll get those differences throughout the object. It comes in handy when you're trying to do things where you're trying to reduce the amount of filament you're using, but you still need key parts to be a little bit more structurally sound, whether it's being used for supports or if they're like a high pressure area or something like that. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to see any other videos, go ahead and leave a comment below or join me on Discord. Thanks.